in this short video we will talk about life path number eight and what concepts uh, stand behind the number so you can better understand what is life path number eight what is that strategy of life and what is eight itself eight is basically all about material satisfaction uh, it has also uh, the meaning of uh, divine power because if you look at eight number itself uh, it's basically uh, combina I mean, it's a basic combination of curved lines that connect uh, heavens and earth uh, and it's an eternity of opportunities that you can have it's an eternity itself if you actually uh, flip it from the other side also uh, eight itself could also be symbolized as a vertical brain activity as we will talk uh, more about in uh, other videos on how human brain really works with all its orbitals so Eight is basically using the divine power that it has access to and bringing that divine power to the material world. The creativity of an eight comes into the ability to unite others in the name of divine. And that's why you know, eight itself is, the, is a you know, boss number. It's, it's, the, it's the chief of the village, as we talked about in our uh, short video about numbers in general in numerology. Eight has that you know power to unite and you know use it use uh, qualities of other people in in a very effective way it's, it has a national kind of so, uh, soul in business eight want you know big projects uh, global things uh, you know, they're very good in management uh, or projects i mean they they're basically you know very good boss if you're an eight and you're like oh no 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 this is not happening to me it is simply because you might be running into some fears of realizing that power that you have inside. And a lot of people do. Because, uh, you know, you start with something small. Start with a small project and move gradually, you know, up and up and up. Because eight has that um, feeling of not being satisfied at the place where they're at. Because they're very ambitious. And the thing is, if they're not realizing that they're ambitious, if they you know, have the certain fears or behavioral matrix is stuck on them from you know, their parents and teachers or, I don't know, like from you know, some stressful situations from their, from their childhood, they're not realizing their potential. And that energy will have to be realized somewhere. So if it's not realized in their work, it will, it will be manifested on their body as a sickness or you know, accidents of certain sorts or things like that. So if you're an eight and you know, you're finding yourself in a rut, which a, lot of, which a lot of times actually eight has a lot of ups and downs because to get on the top you do need to sometimes go up and down which is it's, it's a norm but you know if you're by yourself in rut find that uh, inner power that you have because all eights do that I and mean, they have that power they, they know how to unite people in you know in, into doing something and they're very 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 good in that another danger for for an eight is actually going too much to their ego and there's nothing actually wrong with the ego even though a lot of you know teachings will tell you know ego is bad and you should go away from the ego there's nothing really wrong with the ego if you know how to use it because e ego is a, is something that makes us move forward it gives us that you know power the boost to move forward so it's not about that ego is bad it's more about you know, how, learning how to use it, how to use it for, for good. And uh, eight can fall into more egoistic and selfish kind of way because if they realize that they have that power, they might basically abuse it. You know, power corrupts. And for them, that could be a very, very, you know, dramatic issue, you know, with, with age especially because, you know, they're, they got that power, but they're, if they are too selfish, that could be a big, big problem, you know, in the, in the older ages. So for, for eight, it is important to unite people and to lead them because it is a leadership kind of number. Along with, I mean, one and eight are very similar in a way, but one is more leading with an idea where eight is leading with the power. And that's why it's like this again, it's a boss, boss number. Eight is a very, uh, very strong, powerful number itself. So you really have to look deep into it and find uh, you know, uh, keys how to you know, use that power effectively. In a relationship, eight could be, I mean, they're very committed. And so, uh, and, and because of they 
have that feeling of essence of power, they can attract a lot of attention of an opposite sex. So for them, you know, that's, you know, again, that feeling of feeling of that power will help them in a relationship. But they might run into, you know, still too much control kind of thing and, you know, too, too much about them, them and too much about power thing. So they need to look for those, for those keys in their life in order to realize, you know, their potential as being a life path number eight. So once again, eight just need to learn how to not kill their, you know, inner animal, their urges that they have, their, their ego that they might be experiencing. They need to know to find that balance. And balance is important for, for eight because if they lose it, they might just see the world as white and black. And that does not really help them to move forward. Because to move forward, you know, you do need, uh, you know, both, you know, you need to paddle with both uh, paddles, you know, because if you're just paddling with one, you might get stuck, you know, in just going into circles and things. And so eight, you know, think of an eight just basically as a divine power that you, that you can use to, to unite people and, you know, in the name of divinity and in, in, in the name of uh, higher planes and a higher purpose. So if you're an eight, Try to always take a higher ground because you have that power and you should use it for good or, you know, basically good for, for evolution as well. Thank you for watching this short video on Life Path number eight. If you want to learn more about numerology and the Life Path number eight, please follow the link to the article where we'll have more examples and more explanations about the number itself. And please remember that this is just a short explanation about numerology. If you want to go deep, uh, you know, I urge you to, you know, uh, request a consultation with a numerologist or with, you know, through our website. But just think of a numerology as a very interesting tool that can help you on your road of self-discovery. It can really help you see, you know, how all these things fall into, fall into uh, place and how everything works in unity. Everything works for a purpose. There is a purpose to everything. And that can really help you to dis discover it of yourself and of the world. So thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share uh, this video. And uh, we'll see you soon in the next videos. Take care.